Hello everyone and welcome back to In The Pro Shop. I'm Daniel here at Fusion Alley Pro Shop and today we are going to be going over the differences in asymmetric and symmetric cores of bowling balls. So I have a 46 foot pattern down that I'm going to be throwing on today and I'm going to throw some shots with some symmetric bowling balls and some asymmetric bowling balls and <clears throat> I'm going to be explaining the differences between the two and what kind of adjustments that I need to make uh, to get to the pocket and hopefully strike with uh, each of them. So uh, I'm going to be throwing quite a few different bowling balls here. Um, I'm going to be going with the Brunswick Phantom for symmetric solid, the uh, tactics, the track tactics for the asymmetric solid, the uh, gold kingpin from Brunswick for the asymmetric pearl, and I will be going with the track tempo for the symmetric pearl. And so I'm gonna be going over those four options and kind of explaining the differences uh, between the four of them and between their own little groups, uh, the solids and the pearls, and just trying to detail the differences between them. And we're gonna be going over that today, so stay tuned. guys so welcome back and today's arsenal as I discussed earlier we have a pin down track tactics there's a layout for it and we are going to be comparing this one to our Brunswick Phantom so the uh, pin down track tactics is asymmetric and the Brunswick Phantom here is symmetric so we're going to be using these two balls as our solids to test from and then our pearls that we are going to be testing from is this golden Brunswick kingpin, as you see the layout pin up right there above the ring finger, uh, asymmetric pearl for this one, and then our uh, other ball that's symmetric, that's going to be pearl, is a track tempo, and it is pinned down, has the same layout as the tactics and the uh, phantom as well. So, um, one of the biggest things that I wanna point out with asymmetric bowling balls is this little dot right here. So this little dot is the mass bias of the bowling ball. And in other words, it is what makes it asymmetric. Uh, that's how much of the core is offset on one side compared to the other. Uh, and it's a number in the bowling ball. And it's similar to the numbers that you might find for the CG or uh, the radius of gyration. And so those numbers are going to change the core shape and the way it rolls um, and vary on that little differences. So we saw that the uh, gold kingpin is asymmetric because it has that little white dot. Whereas if we look at the Brunswick Phantom, it just has this crown marking, which the, Brunswick, the gold kingpin also had, but there is no dot for the mass bias and that's because it's symmetric. There's no offset between the two sides of the core because it's the same on both sides, therefore making it symmetric. So there's the primary difference in looks of the bowling ball from the outside that we can tell. And that's a good key way to tell if a ball is asymmetric or symmetric whenever you're purchasing a ball. Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to recap and go over everything that we've gone through in this video. So as we saw there, the uh, tactics and the phantom were pretty close to each other, but there was a slight difference to me. 
Uh, to me, it definitely looked like the Tactics was able to roll just a hair earlier, which is a characteristic that's very common in asymmetric versus symmetric bowling balls. Uh, asymmetrics tend to promote rolling a little sooner than symmetric bowling balls. Symmetric bowling balls usually tend to promote rolling a little less later, and so whenever they roll later, then you see more of that back in reaction with a symmetric ball. And then, uh, as we went to the pearls, I know that there was a bit of a layout difference between the kingpin and the tempo, um, but still, we definitely saw that the tempo was definitely able to get that um, a little bit later, go a little further down the lane before it truly picked up. Of course, both of them being pearls, they definitely went longer than the solids that we had, but... Uh, nonetheless, there was a little bit of difference there, but I think the biggest difference was probably between the Phantom and the Tactics. The layout with the Tactics putting the mass bias just to the right of my thumb puts it in a medium aggressive, uh, medium aggressiveness spot. Uh, and I just want to let everybody know, a cool side note, whenever you drill a bowling ball, the mass bias, an asymmetric bowling ball, the mass bias always goes into the thumb. And so... Uh, just with the holes and everything in it because you're changing the displacement of the weight uh, because you're hitting into the core whenever you drill and so that's just a really cool side note but the mass bias marking itself was in a medium aggressiveness spot on that tactics uh, as we saw in the layout whenever I presented that and uh, it was in an even stronger spot in the uh, gold kingpin as we saw with that a little bit closer to the thumb in a very strong spot. Uh, to do with those angles from the dual angle layout system that I went over. And you can check out that video in the top right of your screen right now uh, to go over when I went over layouts uh, for bowling balls and how to choose the best layout for your game. So guys, thank you for joining me and hopefully this answers your questions about uh, symmetric versus asymmetric cores of bowling balls. So thanks guys, be sure to subscribe below, leave a like and leave a comment with future topics that you want me to go over here in the Pro Shop at Fusion Alley Pro Shop. Be sure to stop by if you're in the Ottawa, Kansas area. And see you later, guys. In the